Hi guys, this is the fan here and we are playing Concrete Jungle. And if you can actually make out the text at the bottom there, there's something I already noticed on the options, which I have to really give this game kudos for. Just go see the audio page, there has a stream safe music button. Concrete Jungle contains some music that is licensed, licensed for in use in-game but not monetized user created videos. Turn this on to disable those tracks. That is fucking awesome. I'm gonna turn that on for YouTube as well, even though I'm not streaming this in the sense of live streaming. Anyway, this is called Concrete Jungle and it's a game that is advertised as a city building card game or something like that. <laughs> it's a... Uh, there was a... one of the blurbs on the Steam page said it's a cross of uh, Tetris, Sim City, and... <laughs> Scrabble on full things. So I am interested. Let's see. You can I think you can see my mouse cursor. That's good I usually play with a controller, but this looks more like a mouse and keyboard kind of game I think we're gonna start the campaign. This is my first time playing this game And I seem to have about one choice here Hollyville game type tutorial difficulty is learn the basics All right, let's do that Hollyville. I like I like the graphic style already. Welcome, welcome to the small town of Hollyville. My name is Lainey, and I'm here to show you the ropes. Hi, Lainey. Looking around is pretty easy. You can use the right mouse or the keyboard's cursor or W A S and D keys. W. You can also zoom in and out using the mouse wheel or the R. <laughs> if you heard a couple of blinks just there, that was my phone. I have not turned it silent. Okay, can I do that? I can do that now. All right, and that's the mouse. Yeah, R and F to zoom. Yeah, fuck that. I'm gonna use my mouse wheel. In front of you, there is a small grid upon which you can place buildings. Those buildings are determined by a series of cards. Let's draw some now and get started. That will do nicely. Okay, we got a school, houses, car wash, factory, brewery. Okay. The top here is the next card in your build list. It's a school, pretty useful. On the card is a small 3x3 three three grid with a building icon in the middle. This displays the building's effect on its adjacent tiles. Blue squares represent plus one point, so the school will give plus one points to the tiles immediately adjacent to it. Okay. With a card selected, you can now place it. Notice how the blue highlights represent the area effect as displayed on the card. Yeah. Let's put the school here. Okay, if you say so. That's a school. You'll notice there are now some plus score markers on the empty tiles that were affected by the school. I do notice that. If we place point collecting buildings on those positive scoring tiles, we'll get points. Which ones are point collecting buildings? The houses? It just so happens the next card in your build list is a houses card. By far the most common point collecting building. It just so happens. Notice how it tells you on the card if the building collects points or not. Okay. So let's get some points. So I want it here. Bleep. Great. We now have one point due to the combination of the school's area effect and the house. We have a target to reach for each column. Currently, that target is two. You can see your current target right here in the top right. Okay. In order to fulfill that target for each column, we need to use a combination of buildings that affect their surroundings and point collecting buildings. Makes sense. I think there's a typo there in the word fulfill. Looking at the car wash. This card also has some red squares. Yeah, I know. Crucially, it has positive effects in the places we need right now to bring our house up to two. Select and place the car wash so that our house is given another point. Okay, so which way? This way, I think. So we can still have the plus one on the other side. Which we don't need. And car wash. Also notice how the red 
dead negative area effect from the car wash canceled out one of the points from the street. Now the first column is complete. Look what happens. Oh. The column has been cleared. Oh, we move on. the points from that column, which are then multiplied and added to your total score. It also means you get a new empty column to build in here on the right. Oh. The immediate aim of the game is always to clear the first column, but you'll have to plan ahead with your building placements in order to do that for future columns. Those are the basics, but let me show you what happens if you forget to place a point-collecting building in a column. Fill this column with the following non-point-collecting building. If any building area effects spill off the side of the grid... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and not just because we have a brewery and factory next to us. <laughs> with, with no means of collecting points, this column cannot reach its target. Therefore, it's just going to sit there while we fill up the rest of the empty layer. <laughs> yeah, fuck those breweries, man. Once the first column is filled, you'll notice this little button flashing at you. All we have to do is click it to force clear. <laughs> You can see how many lives you have left. Okay. Make sure you use your lives sparingly. Once you run out, you'll fail the level. Okay. You can complete past this column here using the next batch of buildings. House collect houses collect points. Okay. There's still a one there. Okay, so let's put this here. Then uh, if we put another house here. And then we can put the school here. Okay. It's a supermarket here. Well, this is gonna fuck everything over. With the minus points there. Isn't that bit like here? Maybe? Like, if this is my goal, then I don't have to care what happens on over here, right? The supermarket here. Okay. House here that collects points. Okay, let's put here. If I put the shops here, then that will fix that one. Yes. Okay. I'll put a house. Let's see here. Sure. Put the brewery. I don't know what. They, wait, fuck. God damn, it's hard. Okay, let's put the brewery here. The car was here. Another brewery. Fine, I'll put it there then. No, that didn't get me points. Shit. That, put that here and the school here. That gets me two points on that. But now I'm screwed here, am I? Aren't I? Oh, gripes. So I have... I can't... Wait, I can't... I can put this... No. Go away. It's fucked. Put houses here, and if I put school here, then that gives me one point. But I have to put the supermarket in here to get more points from that one, right? So if I put this... I don't know. Here? Here? No. Here. Brewery is just like... Let's put that there. Now if I put the supermarket here. Yes! Looks like you're ready for the next ha! Challenge. Of course I am! I'll play a little bit more, although this is not a... Does not look like a very good uh, video game. Like, a wow, dang, that's great. This does not look like the most entertaining game to let's play on YouTube. Let's say that. I want to try some of the non-tutorial stuff at least to show you guys. Solo mode in the sleepy commuter town. Okay. Looter fields. 
The art style is great. It kind of reminds me of Transport Tycoon. Stop telling jokes. You're not that funny. Oh fuck. You now have two times as many build slots. You can oh. choose your next building from either of the cards in the white bracket area. Oh, the excitement. Us government employees need to appreciate the little <laughs> Okay, that one I I'll give you that one. That one was kinda of funny. We've also thrown some new buildings into the mix. Well isn't that exciting? So, okay. If I was to put this, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, go fuck yourself. I can do this by myself. Okay, let's see. So we need three points on that. Looking at there's the car was there. So if I put, so I think I, if I put this like, let's say I put this here, and then I can put the point in here, right? Now then, I have either a green or a car wash. So I'm thinking I'll put the car wash here. So now I have. Three points there that will give me points. Three points that will give me points. Yes, yes, I said it. Yeah, I said it. Okay. So put this here and have it put give points to this one, maybe. A factory or a brewery. Why would I play the factory? What is my uh, also, what is this? I don't know. Like, what's my incentive to play the factory card? I don't know. Brewery here, which also is kind of... I don't really care. At, at least the brewery doesn't fuck things over like the factory does. Put it there. So now, houses in here. And in here. Okay, now we have a supermarket. Which I think I should put here. Yes, maybe? No? Yeah? Okay. Library. Oh, that's this. This gonna be useful. I cancel out one of the minus ones there with this. That's nice. Then there's a school. If I put a school here, that's good, right? Okay, I'm gonna put the house here to get that row. Shops. Actually, if I put a shop here, then that's gonna make that one a tree. Oh, hello, Parksweird. This is awesome. That here. How's there to get three? Wait, fuck. I don't. Oh, shit. No! I'm. I don't think I thought this true. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> okay, let's do anything. Okay, if I put this here, give that a point, right? Put a house there. Then I put the supermarket here. That's gonna help, right? No. I put it here, maybe. Yes. Then I put gr another green. No, but I have to put a green here. So I can give that one another point, right? Although now I now this lane is fucked. Oh god damn it! Oh fuck! I tried to save this lane and now I fucked up this lane while doing it. That's great. So put that one in there. So I need to just demolish this lane here. That's one life lost. Great. Okay, let's see. 
house is. House here. There's a shop here. I don't put the shop here actually. Then I could put a park square in here. Yes. Now I have a car wash. Put it here. Brewery here on to block the minus one. House here. So I get like I get like three here, four here, three here, three here. Okay. Just working out nicely. If I put this one uh, into here, I can get that point, I think should be a good one. This one over here. House. House. Okay. Shops here. Park square. I have to. I'm gonna play this here. I think. Yes. Car wash. If I play the car wash in here. Yes. It's a green. That's. I need more houses. That. That's what needs to happen. Oh, fine. I can do this. I guess. Oh, I should not have done that. Maybe. Unless I do this. Okay, house here. Nice. We're gonna put house here and a house here. Okay. House here. Just to start filling up this other shit until I get houses. That there. It's a green, so I'm gonna. Here, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know, really. There's a house that refers to four. But like, <laughs> I just I need to put like this other shit in weird places just to, I don't know. Okay, we can put a house here. I'm just waiting to get houses at this point. Another house here. We need two more houses. Shops, great. Uh, that's a green. Put the green here. Make that better. And that's the three points, I think. Excellent. Yeah, I lost a life, but you do alright, I think. Now that's a fucking city card. I don't want that one. Fuck. Fuck you, man. Okay, I think we know what this game's about now. Learn the basics of deck building. Okay, I think I'm a. This video is long enough right now, I think. But uh, I can tell you, it needs. Uh, you need to have more ways to manipulate manipulate your deck. Otherwise, it's just no fun. I don't know. Maybe this game opens up. I don't know. This is just a very brief first impression. So. I'm not overly enthusiastic, except for the, yeah, except for the, the art style is kind of beautiful, though, like the whole little, it look, it kind of reminds me of Transport Tycoon, actually, and I need a new Transport Tycoon game, the open TTD is not really cutting it on modern resolutions, but that's beside the point here, oh, excuse me there, that was a burp, because I'm drinking coke, this has been Concrete Jungle, and I will put a link in the description where you can buy this game. So, until next time, I hope you all have a fantastic day.